All right, so now we have a variation of a uh, problem uh, shown in example one on page 282. It says here, determine whether the ordered pair 5 minus 1 is a solution to the systems of equations. So we got two systems of equations, each with two equations. So the first one has two equations, and the second one has two equations. So that's first, that's the second. All right, so the question is, is this a solution, basically? And by solution, that means that if I plug in x equals 5 and y equals minus 1 into these equations, all of these equations in the system will end up being equal to each other. So let's test it, see what happens. So let's do A. A, I have 6, and instead of putting an x, I'm going to put a parenthesis. Minus 7 times y equals 14. And what am I going to plug in the parentheses? Well, for x, I'm going to plug in a 5. And for y, I'm going to plug in a minus 1. 6 times 5 is 30. Oh, and of course, the question is, does the left-hand side equal the right-hand side? All right, 30, we have a minus times minus, so that's going to be a plus. 7 times 1 is 7. Oops, this doesn't look good. That's 37. 37 is definitely not equal to 14. Since this equation is now false, then 5 minus 1 is not a solution. So I have x, this is equation 1, right? I have x plus 4y. Does that equal 1 when I plug in? What am I plugging in? Same as before. x equals 5, y equals minus 1. Well, those parentheses are not particularly useful. Uh, I got a plus times a minus. Well, that's going to be a minus. So I have 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, and 1 equals to 1, so our equation is now true. But let's not, be, let's not rush to a judgment because we still have to do equation number 2. Remember, it has to satisfy both equations, or it is not a solution. So what's our second equation? Well, our second equation, a little more involved, minus 3x plus 8 times y does that equal minus 23? When we plug it in, again, we're plugging in 5 for x and minus 1 for y. All right, so 3 times 5 is 15, and that's a negative, so that's going to be negative 15. And this is, oh, and I should be careful, that's not times 2. It's just the second equation. Put that over here. Uh, what do I, I got here? I've got uh, plus and minus, which is going to be minus, right? And it's 1 times 8, which is 8. Does, what's that equal to? 8 and 15, and they're both negative, so they'll end up being negative. 8 and 15 is 23. Aha! Minus 23 is equal to minus 23. This equation now is also true. Therefore, 5 minus 1 is a solution. Okay? Now, if you understood that, as we've done before, you should go to the book, to page 282, and try these, this, these two problems. See if uh, the ordered pair 2, 3 is a solution to these two system of equations. Good luck.